Hello friends, this is your NVK. Hope everyone is doing fine. In the last video, we have discussed about ERP. What is ERP? What it does? What are the different types of ERPs we have? And also we have discussed about SAP and why it is widely considered over other ERPs. Today in this session, we will see how to create a custom structure and a custom table in SAP. To create a table or a structure, we have to do it through ABAP dictionary and the transaction code is S11. Firstly, we will create a structure and then we will create a table. A structure is like a skeleton for a table. It doesn't carry any data. To create a structure, select the radio button data types. Give the name whatever you want and see that it, it carries some meaning. Click on this create button. Then in this window, select the radio button structure and click on continue. So this is the session where we create the structure. First of all, you need to enter the chart description which carries some sort of meaning. So this will be my description and this is the place where we give the fields and this is the reference uh, column and this is the data element column. So now I am trying to create a employee data structure. So my first field would be employee number. And I'll select types over here. And now I am going to create a new data element. This is not existing in the system. So I am trying to create it. Double click on this data element and uh, click on yes. It will ask to save the changes which we have done to the structure. Click on yes. Save it in local package. Select data element over here. It will be by default data element. Click on continue. Enter the short description of your data element. on predefined types over here uh, I need the employee number to be six characters so I will select the data element as care and the length is six places and now go to this field labels So you need to fill this field label. This is a mandatory field which you need to fill because wherever the field is displayed, this label will be displayed as employee number. That is the use of this field label. And now click on save. Save it as temporary local object. And activate this one. Now our data element Z employee underscore number has been created. Now you can see the field over here and the data element which we created. Now I'm going to create another field which carries the employee name. I already have a data element for this so I'll directly give the data element which pre-exists in the system. I think it should be add underscore name one yes it is so i have created structure with two fields which carries one of them which carries employee number and the other carries employee name now the important thing which we need to do is to maintain an enhancement category for this for this go to extras and select enhancement category This dialog box says that the structure which we created is not classified and we need to maintain enhancement category for this. Click on continue. 
so these are the four types of enhancement categories if you select this you can have any type of fields and if it is a standard table you can add any type of field whether it may be a character type or a reference type or even a data type and if you select the third one you can have only character type fields and in the standard tables you can enhance it by adding only character type fields and if you select the fourth one it doesn't allow to enhance the structure further in runtime click on copy and now we are done with our structure we have created two fields in our structure now go and save it check and activate it you can see that our structure is active and we can use this structure in all our ABAP programs and reports so this is how we create a structure in S11 now we will see how to create a table for this select this database table radio button enter the title of the table and click on create firstly you need to give the short description for this table and you need to select the delivery class I will select application table and I will move on to create fields here in this also I will create employee number first and employee name second so this screen of the table and the screen of the structure both look the same it has the field as the structure has and it has the data element as the structure has but only this key column misses out in the structure whereas we have this in the table so now I'm going to create my first field Z employee underscore number I want this as a key field as the employee number is unique for each and every employee and the data element which we have created already it should be Z E M P underscore number yes by clicking on enter all the details of this data element will appear over here and my second field is Z E M P underscore name this is not going to be my key field as the name might be same for two employees and the data element is AD underscore name one now we need to maintain technical settings for this table you can see technical settings over here just click on this you need to save the changes what you have done you need to select a data class over here it defines the physical area of the database table in which the table must be created whether it is a master table where all the data is permanent or constant or whether it is a transaction table in which the data changes accordingly now we are going to select APPL0 I want it to be a master table and now you need to give the size category so this size category it uh, decides the size of the table like how many records the table should carry or maintain so I want the table to carry 0 to 6000 records I will select this and I will click on save now go back to the table we need to maintain the enhancement category as we maintained in our structure so I will go to extras click on enhancement category and I'll select any of these things now click on save 
check the table and activate it. So in this session we have learned how to create a structure and a table. If you have any doubts do let me know. Thanks for watching my presentation.